Dude, look at this. Full set. Look at this boy. He's pushing. What's up y'all, it's your boy Sci Native, and for today's video we're going to be heading out to my friend Chris's house, he lives out in Oak Grove. Uh, we're going to be installing his GT350 styled front bumper, he just got it painted the other day. Uh, hit me up if I could help him, I uh, helped him install RTR styled uh, light to the grill so I kind of already had to take off the front bumper on S550s. Um, so yeah, we're going to head out over there, a few people are going to be there, we're just going to hang out, get it done and basically just whatever so this vlog is kind of like somewhat informational uh, I'll try to get everything on how to remove the bumper for those of you who don't know and it'll kind of just be like us hanging out so I'll see you then so I'm here at my boy Chris's house they're already working on it that's Chris over here this is Gabe his S550 with the RTR lights here's the bumper it is sweaty ass pit right here Hey, how many, how many more bolts you got? A uh, hundred and So you got fast, and you got slow, and then you got M3 that's even slower. <laughs> right, Gabe? Right. You got a slow? Uh, super charged. I feel like they're not like... Huh? They got a couple clips on the end. I so I can't show you guys how to take off this top part, uh, the radiator cover, but that one's just a bunch of little clips you take off with a flathead. And there's a couple bolts here. I don't know exactly what size it is. I think it's a 7 mil. Yeah, there's one here too. Same thing down here. Hey, what size are the ones down here? Size? 7 millimeter. 7 mil. So it's probably 7 millimeter all around. Uh, it's just a lot. They got a little bin right here. So they're really small, just like this. And these are basically little like push pins from the top, from the cover. But that's not even the hard part. The hardest part to take off is a bolt that's somewhere in here. You can't see because it's really dark. But after you loosen this, which they already did, uh, you pull it back after you move the tires and take off the bolt, which is in a really bad position. So it's hard to get to and hard to loosen, or at least for me, and the first time I did it, but... I got everything for this. You got everything? Yeah. Okay, you got one more for the push pin. So did you want to get SF50? Yeah, I want to be wet like everybody else. Like who? Like Diablo 5 -0. Oh, you called out Diablo 5 -0? You trying to race yeah. him, dude? Yeah. You got a call out video. We got a supercharged M3. Call it now what? Full In bolt on. Full bolt on. Full build. Roush Whipple? Roush Whipple. Roush Whipple. Diablo 5.0. We're calling you out. You got to come race him. Not me though, because so. I'm stock, right? I'm going to stock. What's the good dude? Uh, the SR Sport Coilover. This has got wet. Heck of wet. Maybe? <laughs> this dude's a baller. Uh, but don't tell anybody. He, uh, wired it to my... Is there another... Uh, I hate taking off these damn... This thing? Yeah, this one. This one just twists. Huh? This one just twists. Okay. What about it? Okay. The other one's a hard oh, one. Oh, yeah, remember this how we get off? Okay, this is the wall we need to get off. You get it? That's out. I just gotta get the last one. How old is this? This one's a little Where's clip. It? That's all it is. And this one too, like this thing? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, never mind. Forget about it. Oh, that's easy, dude. I think you push it in, right? You, you heard Chris, dude? He said it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Five Let's minute see. job. Where do you want to get on this oh, okay. side? Oh, you got it. You got it? Pull it out. What's up? Oh, it's because this. Yeah, so you gotta disconnect that. Yeah, so now we do that. Okay. 
think it just plugs in to it. Check if there's any latches. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's one right here. Okay. Yeah. Dude, when I was taking off my uh, my tail lights, the latch on the right side, uh -huh. it got stuck. I think it like broke, and I had to use a flathead. And I like it took me a while because I had to stick it into the thing, and there's like no space. Okay. But then, wait, what the hell? Oh, do we have a clip down there? This oh, one. Oh, yeah, the final one. Oh, the light. Oh. There you go. Adios, muchachos. Hey, yo, put it in front of mine. Let's let's see the swap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 53 valve saw. That won't stay flat, huh? Uh, maybe if you push it a little bit underneath. <laughs> Yo, look at this build. If you guys didn't know, there's a three oh. valve on Instagram that swapped out a S550 front bumper and hood on the three valve, and it it's not. I don't know. It's interesting. It's not something I'd do, but I don't know. Would you do it, dude? What do you think? I would. Cause I can't afford a S550. Not too sure how you press that. So right now the bumper's already off. We removed. Oh, you know what? The turn right signals. Oh, okay. this one. Like this one looks like a fog light. So we're just gonna put these in. Has grills over here. Right now they're trying to clip in the. I think it's the, the lower lip oh, of the GT350 styled bumper. It's good right here. This and side once clips. this is on, we're just gonna throw on the grills and. Oh, I think it clipped. Yeah. Basically, just bolt it back on and connect everything to the wiring harnesses. <laughs> All right, so the top grill is on. You can see it looks super wet. How hard was it to put on, dude? Get ready to work, dude. Pain in the ass. Yeah? What's it It's an eight hour job. <laughs> so, basically, with these, it has like little. I don't know if you can see these little black tabs right here. But these tabs. I'll grab It's not better you take it Well, those tabs. So they're weird. curved and they block this this part of the bumper so the the grill won't go in until you bend them with with something we just use that bent it and this is the magic man with the magic hands but yeah and right now we just need the lower grill side ones and my airlift suspension right there yeah, this aired out and then turn signals and the basically just put it on, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. All right, but right now we're about to go get some food and then after that we'll come back and put it on. So, that. Bro, a Nova and a Vet though? I'm gonna look at this thing. It's thinking, but you unlock it and it can reach up to 200. Dang. Dude, uh, the Mustang doesn't even have like up to, what, 160, right? What? The top speed on the I think, autometer? Uh, I think on I think the fastest, on the GT350R, I think the top speed's like 170. Oh. Nah, yeah. you're tripping, dude. 2014 Shelby's go like 207. Why are you lying? I'm not. Google it. They do not. Oh, the other guy? Uh, the they race? go over two. It's like 201 or 207, but they go over two. Uh, the Racer Devil? He yeah, got a his uh, Shelby. GT500. Yeah, his new Shelby. Yeah. Top speeds are like 201. He got GTCS and the uh, uh, Shelby. That's a big baller life. Yeah, 20, 2016 GT350 top speed is 170 miles per hour. I said 14. All right, we'll Snake. See. I swear they go 201. 201 or 207. One of the two. Sneaking, but I can't see. It says it claims 202 miles per hour top speed. Yo, Kilometer. it's a girly whipping the sting. She's bout it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at that gap though. She just gapped you by two car lengths. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, look at this full set. Look at this boy. He's pushing. Yo, isn't it true, like everybody says it, but like, if you're anywhere out in town, or even out of town, like, 
you can't go a day without seeing any kind of Mustang on the road. Yeah, Mustangs are everywhere. Do you know the that two valve? Well, that's not even a two valve, but it's a six. But uh, the two valve body was what made me get into Stangs. Cause oh, I, yeah, cause my neighbor, uh, one of our ex-boyfriends used to have one, and like he'd always be in front of my house when I was a kid, and so it's like. You should have got one. That's what I wanted though. Why didn't you get? Cause I just liked how it looked, but little did I know they're slow. Is not the termi. Well, the termi ain't slow, but the termi ain't too well. But the body style. The termis aren't even super expensive anymore for what they are. How much horse do they push? Like, 380 but minor bolt on then you're pushing 450 you're pushing fuck ton that's what you're pushing but and they're hella light that's why they're so quick but that's why people lose it because they're so light and quick super close now uh just wired the headlights in all the girls are on as you can probably see or not most likely not but Everything's on. The new bracket holder for the mud flap is the fender liner right here. So, just gonna put it on, bolt it. Is it not clipping in? Good, it's good. Got it. No bumper. Alright, y'all, so the bumper is completely on. Everything's on. We got the cover on top. Uh, it looks sick. It looks super sick, to the least. There's this, and then there's stock, and there's that. So this does look a lot better. Uh, it took us a while to do, but we also stopped to eat food. So I don't know exactly how long it took. And it was the first time we ever installed a GT350 style bumper, so it made us take a little longer. A little bit of trial and error, mostly with the girls, but the girls are on, and it's a pretty good fitment. What do you think? Pretty good fitment? I think it's good. So, that's basically it. We don't have much else to do. He's just tightening like, the last two bolts that are on the, on the cover. But besides that, uh, nothing else about the car. So, thanks for watching. We didn't really do a how-to do this. If you already know how to take off a bumper, then it's basically just taking this off, putting it back on. And when it comes to the the top grill you do have to bend um, little plastic tabs they're somewhat similar to these plastic tabs in here I don't know if you can see but if you can't if you can yeah well those little plastic tabs on top they're different on that bumper that bumper it has them so like it curves so it curves in like a hook so it won't let the part of the bumper to go in all the way so what you do is you use tweezers or pliers and uh, you twist it up to make it level and flat and then after you do that then uh, you can lock it in all the way in so that it'll look like this it'll look flush and it won't have any gap on it so that's basically it for installing the bumper thanks for watching if you want to follow this dude on Instagram, I'll have it in the description. Also, the loser with the M3 over there. I'll put his IG in the description. And that's it. Thanks.